Where am I from? I am born and raised in Charlottesville, Virginia. How did I enter the military, drafted or joined? I was drafted um, right out of high school. And uh, once I got in and you're in basic training, they call you off to the side and they say, you're going to Vietnam. Do I remember arriving in Vietnam? Yes, I do. Um, it wasn't pleasant. Tet had just started. The pilot comes on. We, we're in a flying Tiger 707 airway. Uh, I guess maybe 150 to 200 green G GIs on there. And uh, the pilot comes on and he says, we're not going to make the landing at our uh, destination. We're going to move to Benoit because the other destination, the airport's under attack. When we stop the plane, get off as quick as possible. So we had 150 to 200 GIs. They stop the plane, throw open the doors. We don't have any equipment. We don't have any weapons. We're from the United States. We don't know a thing about Vietnam, and we're stumbling around in the dark. The only thing we can see is the red flares, the white flares, and you can see the impact flashes. And I knew I was going to get killed that night. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> November the 27th, and that was uh, 1969, and it was a day before Thanksgiving. Did my military experience change the way I thought about the war itself? Yes. When, when I got back, unlike today, where everybody's being thanked, pat on the shoulder, hands being shook, we came home and people called us baby killers. They spit on us. We were told when we were on the aircraft that when we got to the uh, military air base, we were to land, we were to take our uniforms off and get into civilian clothes. I would like to say one thing. Teenagers, and I've got a daughter that graduated college. Uh, she's 27 now. But I would like for them to take a moment and think about what they have as far as rights and what they think is given to them and what they should have and should not be able to do. Uh, take a moment and, ju and just reflect. Somebody fought and lost their lives for you to have the right to do the things that you do and to be able to celebrate with your family and eat hot dogs and hamburgers on the morning. I mean, freedom is not free.